This is the new studio. Many of you probably already know, but we just bought our first house. Congratulations. Now, the reason why we bought this specific house is because it has this space, sort of like a basement, it's not a basement, it's more like a storage area next to the garage. And uh, we're gonna use this as the studio office space. Now, hopefully, I'll show a little bit more about this space in my personal YouTube channel, but what I'm gonna say is, it is a dream space. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. But I wanted to mention a couple of things. Uh, we just did flooring, but we didn't clean up, so the studio, and especially the desk, is super dusty. Second thing, acoustic treatment is work in progress and it sounds horrible at the moment. I apologize. And three, yes, I'm planning to replace that curtain. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. If you didn't skip that intro part, good for you. I'm writing this action cue and it does like this. So everything evolves from this rhythmic motif. It starts with the lowest strings and it does like this. And FYI, what the bass is doing is this. D, F, C, D, then repeats the same thing and then it stays for two measures here in D. D, F, C, D, D, F, C, D, and then D, 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 D till the end. We've got the cellos here in octaves and the double bass is down an octave. All right, so to these lowest strings with big motif, we're gonna add a soup kick for punch and snares for definition. And all together sounds like this, the strings, the snare, the soup kick. Now to compensate left, right, the lower strings will naturally sit on the right side. The kick is gonna stay center because it's low frequencies. I position this nerve to the left side to compensate with the lower strings. And I wanted to get a little bit more for like a modern contemporary sound. So I mixed with the snares this greedy shatter. So I positioned that to the left as well with the snares to make sure that they went together. And all together, the lower strings, the snares, the Greedish Hiders and the Soup Kick sounds like this. Next, high staccato strings to add a little bit of action. Some synth pulse for the motor. Some low horns for background. Sub bomb at the downbeat of bars one and three, doubling that hit with low brass. And finally, an epic horns melody towards the end for that climatic moment. And all together sounds like this. That's it. If you want more, I did a similar video like this, composing trailer music and two more styles, link in the description. If not, hope you found value in this video. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.